Today I'll show you how to loop in FL Studio with MIDI keyboard. First, go to Options, MIDI Settings, and enable your MIDI keyboard. Also, I turn off my velocity. Now we need to assign our drum sounds to our pads. For this, I'm using FPS plugin. Then I need to choose an empty preset. To map our banks, go here and click Map Nodes for entire bank. Then you need to hit every pad. Change bank to B and do it again. And change it back. Now each of our pads is tied up to a specific area of the FPC plugin. Next, we need to choose our drum sounds. Go to packs, drums, kicks, and choose 707th kick and move it to the first slot. Now go to snares and choose 707th snare. Then go to hi hats and choose chromo OH. It'll be our open head. Turn the volume to 11 o'clock and tune to the maximum. Also, we need a closed head. I used a specific sample that you can download by the link in the description. Also, turn volume to 11 o'clock. Now we need to select the area we want to loop. In our case, we select 12 bars. Now rename our button, for example, to drums and choose just for fun the color. Now put the pattern to our playlist and stretch it to the length of two bars because it will repeat every two bars. Now just copy it five more times. And now choose the first place in the mixer for our plugin. Let's add another plugin. For our bus sound, I used Silence 1. Go to Section 2 and choose 141st preset. Also turn off every effect except of equalizer. This'll be our bass. Now we need to create one more pattern. Let's name it Melody. and choose another color. Now put it to our playlist and stretch it to the length of the selected area. Also choose the place for our plugin in the mixer. Now we need pad sounds. For this I use Nexus and search Thinset Strings. Choose for it third place in the mixer. For melody, I use Jupiter 8 Thins. Choose preset poly stack. Place it to the mixer too. And the last one will be Nexus. Preset Horror House. Choose the mixer place for it. Now go to Mixer. And let's adjust the volume of each of our plugins. I know roughly what level they should be.
Also, if you want to record everything that is going in FL Studio, you can go to Master and choose Edison plugin. Don't forget to link to the master every channel you want to record. Then just click here. But now I don't need it, so I'll delete it. Let's change the tempo to 169. Also enable quantization by right-clicking the recording button. Also click on this magnet and choose any option except of the first three. This will allow you to quantize everything. In my case I choose step. Now switch on the metronome. Also turn on pre-recording bar, add in MIDI notes and enable looping. Now we can start recording. To switch between our samples we can use our keyboard by clicking program change on it. So each of our pads will change the sample in the channel rack. Don't forget to change the octaves while recording. Also, during the recording, we'll need to switch to the second pattern. Also, you can turn on full level option on your keyboard to turn off velocity on your pads. To start our recording, click here and select Notes and Automation. Now click the play button. Let's record the drums. Ok, now it's looping. Second, let's add hi-hat. And now one open hat. Now click program change and switch to the second plugin. Go one octave down and switch to the second pattern. Now we will record bass. Switch to the third plugin and go one octave up. Let's record pets. Now go to the first plugin and one octave up. We will record the melody. Switch to the last plugin and go one octave up. Now we can turn off the metronome. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Bye!